He looked at Matthias, who he has known for a few minutes, even though it has seemed he has known him for a lifetime, and said, Do you know any of these mysteries to life? Matthias said, It is not for me to answer this question for you. Everyone has a truth they need to answer. Everyone in life has a dilemma to face and has dealt the cards we have been given. It is up to us to find them. This is what life is all about. We are all guided in life, and a little of our truth is revealed every day. The mysteries of our life and life around us will unravel. Joseph, upset, asked, How am I supposed to ponder this question? I am about to be evicted from my apartment. I can't seem to break my gambling and sex habit. I am frustrated at life because I want more out of it than is shown to me, and I spiral every day. And I'm sorry that I will wake up in the morning because my days only get worse. How is life going to get any better? I wish I knew what my purpose was, so maybe I won't be in this mess that I am in right now. Matthias just looked at Joseph and laughed, and he raised the question, Do you know that some of the saints were once sinners or had troubled lives? but they found their way in the Lord and God, and that made them change this world by answering to their calling? Do you think it was a mistake when you ran into me when you did, or it was just mere chance? You ran into me when you did, when deep down inside you are searching for truth, and searching for a way out of your mess. God is answering your prayers, and everyone's prayers every day. We just have to keep aware of what signs are put in our lives. And that's how we are guided every day. Matthias looks like he is ready to leave, and Joseph tries to stop him. Joseph says, Where are you going, Matthias? Matthias tells Joseph, I have many things to do in this life, and the calling to fulfill. I have to go. Joseph says to Matthias, Do I have somewhere to go where I could meet up with you, or a number where I can reach you? Matthias then says to Joseph, I am an acupuncture specialist. I have people to attend to that need my assistance. Here is my card. However, right now, your focus should be to regain focus of yourself. When your life spirals out of control, you are no help to anyone. Seek help and find your soul once again. And once you do, you will be amazed at what you are capable of. Just pay attention to signs or synchronicities. There is an answer for you, as there is for everyone, if they choose to see it. Matthias left Joseph Woods to ponder a few questions of life. He pondered, How do I get out of my situation? How do I make my life better, and where do I turn? Joseph needed a solution, and it wasn't going to happen overnight. His problems kept on getting worse, and he was getting frustrated more and more. It was going to take divine intervention to save him. But Joseph just about gave up on his faith. He felt that his faith had let him down, and the people running religion were corrupt, even in his own faith of the Catholic religion. Deep down inside, Joseph felt empty spiritually. He stares at the news every day, and it's the same thing that happens every day, just more violence, and the world is a little bit colder. Joseph even has become cold and numb to the world. He did ponder these questions, Matthias asked him, and he realized there had to be more to life than there was, and he did seek help. But his search was not at all easy to find his spirituality and his calling. Joseph doesn't know it, but he was ready to stumble upon life's mysteries and his true calling was to be revealed. Only time is going to tell as Joseph embarks this journey upon life's greatest question. Why am I here? That was chapter two of A Soul Warrior's Journey by Andrew Garrett. When narrated by Andrew Garrett, written by Joseph Vivaldi. When I did chapter two, the meeting between Matthias Anderson and Joseph Woods, 
I thought of something. I thought of the archetype for the mentor. Every stage in a book and every journey of a hero's journey as Joseph Campbell would put it there is a teacher and mentor relationship now excuse me I was thinking in the lines of Will from the Silverstein Prophecy and Socrates from the Way of the Peaceful Warrior. And I had my own spin on it. And wanted my character to be a mixture of both leading more towards Will. in the wisdom of the Socrates in the book Way of the Peaceful Warrior I wanted that archetype to guide Joseph Woods in the direction that he needed to go I felt this is a crucial opener to the book. It sets the tone and it sets the pace. I alone could have started the book with this chapter. However, I said, let me do chapter one first. Two chapters here are strong. They're strong, they're powerful, and they're potent. They add a one-two punch to begin this book. Audiobook. Now, I wrote this a while ago, and different stage then. Still, same news every day. Still same old situation. But, what I wanted to implant in this book was the realm of hope. The realm of hope that you can overcome a government with peaceful terms that you could change the world with little effort now in part two of the book it discusses an evil regime and I painted a regime of how regimes are painted, how they are and what they do. And I try to paint it in the best picture or the worst picture that I can possibly picture because I was thinking how would I make the reader feel if they were living in an authoritarian authoritative government like that paint the picture and 
It ties that role of how change is possible. Now, I'm sure there's going to be other segments of this book that I'm going to advertise but wrapping up this show this special Soul Warriors Journey edition of the Joseph Vivaldi podcast and I am going to do plugs check out my friend of the Olkinos Network from Oakwood publishing Richard Andrew Olkis he has a few good books out there Malathoria Volume 1 he has three books of poetry out on the Kindle and he's got a network that he's uh, running to support him he has supported me through many of hard times and got the vision of this network and helped with it very well also another thing I like to plug with him is that he also did the forward for the book of seasons his journey through the year cycles which came out December 21st 2018 on the Kindle and we hope that an audio book of that book will come out next year. Also, as far as plugs for this network, it's the new season upon us. We're heading into January, May. We have few good shows out which I want to give you an update we will have Ricky and Wolfman um, show which will have which they will discuss the whole movie of through Back to the Future 3 watching it and commentating. Also, we will be in the studios for those who haven't, for those who haven't, who have been waiting for the journal to the dreamscapes to come back. We're going to be in the studios of the Joseph Vivaldi Network Studios and we will be doing uh, some more shows for you to complete the season. Also, another thing is the Slow Mojo Poetry Show. Another show on the network. That show features poetry by Joseph Vivaldi and also poetry of the class.